Day 11, guys, and we have some heavy ass front squats. Just thought I'd double check that one. So, what we're gonna focus on today in your points of performance, okay? Tension throughout your upper back, okay? Now, this one is really important when we do any kind of front rack work, okay? So, what I mean by that, so if you look at your upper back, for example, okay, most people, because they, because of day-to-day -day life, everything's very anterior, most people's thoracic will be slightly closed, okay? Um, if you ever see someone that can't get their arms completely overhead, the likelihood is that the, the, the thoracic's quite, quite closed. Now, what we want to do, though, when we front squat in particular, we want to force our upper back open as much as possible, okay? So basically, from here, I want to be in this position, Okay, so it's not just the case of lifting the chest. The chest does come up, but the upper back opens and it tightens. There is so much pressure on that upper back. The reason is, in a front squat, you have potentially got the leg strength to squat more weight, but has your back got the strength to keep that chest up, keep your back flat and help transfer the force, okay? For most people, the likelihood is that they haven't. So if we can dial this in now, straight from the lift off, we unwrap the bar and rather than just being here, we're actually like this. We've got a fucking big proud chest with the back super tight and flat. And as you descend into the squat, you're gonna hold that tension and it's gonna help you drive back up out of the bottom position. Okay guys? So that's gonna be focus of today. Keep that back nice and tight, keep loads of pressure in it and squat a shit ton of weight.